Welcome to Raw Online. Today's topic of discussion is nasal cavity. The competency of this topic is at the end of the session, you must be able to know the features of nasal septum, blood supply and nerve supply of nasal cavity and the nasal septum as well as the features of lateral wall of nose and its blood supply, nerve supply and clinical importance. So before moving into the nasal cavity topic proper, we have to know about the external nose. So this is the external nose. So the external nose has root of the nose. So this is the root of the nose. And this is the tip of the nose or apex of the nose. On either side, this is the dorsum of nose. The exterior, it has a communication through the exterior, through this nostrils or nares. So, this is the inferior view of the nostrils. In between, there is a septum. That septum divides the nasal cavity into halves. So, it is made up of bones as well as cartilages. This is about the overview of external nose. Let us see the internal nose. The internal nose is otherwise known as nasal cavity. So, this is the nasal cavity. This is the bony outline of the nasal cavity. It is divided into two halves, but uh, it is not a equal halves by asymmetrical halves by the nasal septum. Nasal septum also again made up of bones as well as cartilages. Let us see the communications. So, this is the nasal cavity. In the skull, it looks like a pyriform in shape. So, it is otherwise known as pyriform aperture. And this is the sagittal section of the skull to show the communications of the nasal cavity. So, this is the nasal cavity. Anteriorly through the nares, it has a communication with external uh, environment. And posteriorly to the opening present here, this is known as quina or posterior nasal opening through which it has a communication with the nasopharynx. Divisions anterior in, antero inferior part is the smaller part and the posto superior part is the larger part. So, this antero inferior part is otherwise known as vestibule of the nose. So, this is the vestibule, this is the smaller part. And the posto superior part is known as nasal cavity proper. Let us see the structures one by one. Vestibule of the nose. So, this is the antero inferior part. It is mainly lined by skin. So, the skin as well as its, and its appendages like sebaceous glands, sweat glands and hair follicles are present in this area. So, here we can appreciate the tuft of hairs are stiff or known as vibrissae. So, vibrissae are the tuft of hairs are present in the vestibule of the nose. Main function is to trap the foreign particles from the air. So, the upper limit of this vestibule is known as Lyman insulae. So, this is Lyman insulae. And medially, the upper limit is by the columella. Columella is nothing but it is a meeting point of two major alar cartilages. So, this is the alar cartilage. In the midline, it forms the mobile part of the septum, which is known as columella. So, both columella and lime and insulae are mobile part. Let us see the nasal cavity proper. The nasal cavity proper, this is the schematic diagram of the nasal cavity proper. It has a roof and floor as well as it has a medial wall. The medial wall is otherwise known as septum and lateral wall. So, this is the roof and this is the floor. Anteriorly, it has a communication through nares or external nostrils. Posteriorly, to the nasopharynx, to the pharynx. So, let us see the roof first. So, this is the roof. Here this is the roof. So, it has anterior part, intermediate part and the posterior part. So, this is anterior part and this is intermediate part and this is posterior part. So, the anterior part of the roof is directed downwards and forwards. 
the intermediate part is more or less horizontal the posterior part is downwards and backwards so the anterior part is mainly formed by the frontal bone as well as nasal bone the intermediate part is formed by the cribriform plate of ethmoid bone and the posterior part is formed by the sphenoid bone body as well as the inferior surface of the sphenoid bone so this is about the roof so see in this diagram this is the anterior part which is descending downwards and forwards which is mainly made up of frontal bone and the nasal bone and the intermediate part is made up of the cribriform plate of ethmoid it is horizontal and the posterior part is formed by the body of the sphenoid bone let's see the floor the floor is almost horizontal so this is the floor as well as the concavity is faces towards the cavity so anterior 3/5 of the floor is formed by the palatine process of maxilla anterior 3/4 and posterior 1/4 is formed by horizontal plate of palatine bone so that's all about the floor so this is the floor anterior 3/4 by maxilla posterior 1/4 is by the palate let's see the nasal septum the nasal septum is otherwise known as medial wall of the nose it is also made up of both bones as well as cartilages so it is otherwise known as osseo cartilaginous partition the body part is formed by two bones especially posto superior part this is the posto superior part which is formed by this bone this is known as perpendicular plate of ethmoid bone and posto inferiorly by another bone this is known as vomer bone so let's see the attachments of this perpendicular plate of ethmoid so this perpendicular plate of ethmoid is quadrilateral in shape so anteriorly it extends up to the nasal bone that is the crest of nasal bone as well as the nasal part of the frontal bone so anterior extension is nasal bone and the frontal bone posteriorly it extends up to the sphenoid bone inferiorly that is posto inferiorly it has attachment with the vomer and antero inferiorly by the septal cartilage so this is about the perpendicular plate of ethmoid and let's see the vomer vomer also quadrilateral in shape the tip of the vomer is extend up to the incisive canal posto superiorly it is uh, forms the free margin it is related to the pterygoid plates and it forms the one of the boundary for the coena or posterior nostrils and posto superiorly it attaches with the body of the sphenoid bone and antero superiorly with the perpendicular plate of ethmoid and antero inferiorly with the septal cartilage as well as inferiorly it has attachment with this floor of the nasal cavity that is by the palatine process of the maxilla and the horizontal plate of palatine bone this is known as nasal crest so inferiorly nasal crest posteriorly as well as superiorly by sphenoidal crest anteriorly by the crest of nasal bones so it is uh, the medial wall is also formed by in addition the nasal spine of the frontal bone here sphenoidal crest posteriorly nasal crest inferiorly so this is about the attachment of the uh, bony part of the nasal septum